What's up guys, welcome back. So today I wanna to talk about one of the biggest reasons I think people either don't recover from anxiety disorder or it drags out over a long period of time, like years, like my situation. It took me five years to get past my pain disorder, my health anxiety, my generalized anxiety disorder. I don't want that to be the case for you and that's the goal of this channel. So you know what time it is. Smash the like button down below if you're ready to kick anxiety in the butt. Subscribe if you're new, be a part of this community. I have tons of videos just like this. Okay, so there's this overlay during your anxiety journey and especially in the beginning of like recovery where you're doing everything that you can for your anxiety recovery process, right? And there's tons of things that go with that, mindfulness, nutrition, you know, exercise, your diet, exposure, root causes, uh, my, all those things. There's tons of them and I'm not gonna cover them all in this video. I talk about them on my other videos. Go check them out, all the things that I did. But you're doing everything that you can to recover, but there's an overlay where you're still dealing with symptoms before they start to drop off. And what I see time and time again with people that I coach or in the comment section, uh, people that I've talked to in person and in definitely in my life, I always gave up too soon. I gave up too soon because I had extremely high expectations, especially if I was trying to do some you know, some crazy changes in my lifestyle and do things, I expected results really, really quickly. And I think we all fall victim to the quick fix, but this isn't really the quick fix. A lot of you are dedicating a week or two to a new routine or strategy, yet you're still having symptoms. And this is why I love doing videos because <laughs> I don't hear a lot of people talk about anxiety the way that I do. You know, you need to have this education and awareness. You're making life changes and everything, but your subconscious still does not trust you even though you're making these changes. How do you gain this, the trust of your subconscious that it's, you're not in a dangerous situ situation that would require these symptoms, right? You come back to it over and over and over again with consistency and you stick with it until your subconscious is eventually like, okay, I don't need to give you the chest pain. I don't need to give you the tingling or the numbness. So obviously, we're not in a dangerous situation. You've changed your life. You're sticking with this routine. You're exposing yourself. And there's no reason for me to continue delivering these messages that I'm terrified, you know, from a, a subconscious perspective, right? So that time period is likely for many of you quite a bit longer than what you're expecting. A lot of you are expecting three, four days of doing something for it to completely change the whole game. Sometimes you'll have breakthroughs. And this is so frustrating because if you have zero awareness on how anxiety works, if you don't understand the subconscious conscious relationship, it's gonna be almost impossible to get past this because you're gonna expect results very, very quickly because you just don't understand how long it takes to see those results. You know, at best, maybe you think doing it three, four, five, six days is good enough. No, it takes weeks, you know, if not months to start establishing, you know, some trust with your subconscious with sticking something, sticking with something, excuse me, every single day. And it breaks my heart. I wish that my channel could get out to more people. You know, we got 70,000 subscribers here. That's not enough. <laughs> and not from a selfish point of view. There's so many people out there right now, especially with this pandemic, that are getting health anxiety, that are getting panic attacks, and then they're looking up these watered down tips on Google. You know, just meditate or, you know, go for a jog or, you know, just change your diet up and be positive. And, you know, some of those things are good. I'm, they're watered down because people don't understand that it's gonna take time for the subconscious to adjust to those things. They don't understand how long it takes doing those things to get the benefits. So guess what? These people start those things and they do them for a day or two. Some people will get it to a week and they still have the symptoms because the subconscious doesn't trust them yet, right? They've been telling their subconscious horrible things for months, if not years, okay? Even weeks can do a lot of damage and they're wondering why their symptoms aren't shutting off. And I was there because I didn't have the awareness I didn't understand this process like so many other people out there and it's heartbreaking, <laughs> you know? So if you do have some awareness and you have seen my videos, my advice to you guys, keep sticking with the things that I talk about in my videos, other YouTubers, other mental health advocates, you know, your therapist, but do it longer and be real with it and make it actually a part of your life instead of treating it like something that is supposed to make your anxiety go away in a week or two and some of you 
probably in the back of your head know like, you know, once my anxiety goes away, I'm not doing this anymore. It's not going to fly. It's not going to work. You have to get your subconscious to buy into what you're doing. You're not going to fool it <laughs> into healing. No. Subconscious knows if you're for real about this new change, about this lifestyle, about exposure, about being, you know, embracing being uncomfortable, all the things that go into recovery. Stop faking it. <laughs> it's not going to work that way. You're not going to fool your subconscious. So start thinking months instead of thinking days or weeks. Think months, right? And it's not even just about months. Like I just said, like you need to think about this being a part of your life forever. It takes a whole lifestyle change to recover from anxiety fully. So if you've just been thinking days or weeks, we got to think months and, and to, to lifetime, right? There's no timetable on this. We consciously recover from anxiety, in my opinion, before we subconsciously recover. You have to live like you're recovered before you've actually recovered. That's why I've been telling you guys, don't even say like, I hope I recover, I'll try to recover. That's better than saying that I won't recover, right? So if you're saying you won't, you need to at least get to that, that medium step. But I need you guys to start manifesting this. I need you guys to start saying, I will recover. And I don't care about how long it's gonna take. I don't care. I'm, I'm changing my life. I'm growing from this, you know, this situation. Anxiety is a sign that you need to grow. It's an opportunity. It could be a blessing in disguise for a lot of you. So hopefully this advice, you know, is, is valuable to you. If you made it this far in the video, do me a huge favor. Remember to hit the like button, but also go down below in the comment section. And in all caps, I want you to put, I will be patient and consistent. I will be patient and consistent. But guys, remember, if you're tired of anxiety running your life, you're ready to be free, to live the life that you deserve. If you're ready to be patient, consistent, and actually work something and stick with it, please go down below in the description and in the first pinned comment and grab my course, Elite Anxiety Bootcamp. It's my blueprint, my step-by-step -step process on what I did from the minute I woke up and so I went to bed at night to help me recover from anxiety. It's gonna help develop that mindset that you need to defeat the enemy, all right? You have to have awareness. You have to understand the enemy to defeat it. So grab that course. It's helping so many people out. I want you to be part of that as well. The description that I mentioned has tons of other uh, resources as well, online therapy. Um, there's some other things. Obviously, my TikTok, my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, uh, Facebook groups, all that stuff is down there as well. Remember, <laughs> subscribe. And uh, if you've made it this far, you you're probably are subscribed. Please do me a huge favor today and hit the notification bell so you can get updated whenever I put these out. Hit the like button if you got value. And uh, until next time, guys, keep fighting.